Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to MongoDB database and how to insert new data into it. So first thing, we need C# -sharp driver for our MongoDB database. So you can find that from official MongoDB docs. You will find a link to MongoDB driver. Okay? There is one more way with which you can connect to MongoDB database. For that, you have to open your Visual Studio. Okay, first let's create a new project. Choose console application. Then make sure you have new unique name, such as let's say Mongo Sharp and click OK. This will create one blank console app in C Sharp and from here we will go to tools okay choose manage NuGet packages for solution okay this will open NuGet package option on the top simply search for MongoDB and it will show you list of packages for MongoDB okay so here you see MongoDB driver click on install and it will start installing for your solution okay simply accept and it will download dependencies okay and if it shows these green checks that means MongoDB driver is installed for your solution once you do that simply use these two lines using mongodb dot bison okay another is using mongodb dot driver okay these two are the classes that we need and now inside static void main method simply create one variable name client that will call for new mongo client okay and here we will specify our mongodb database so localhost 27017 okay next thing we will create one database or we can access the existing one in my case I'm going to create new database so simply use get database method and pass the name of new database let's say startup is the name of my database and I'm going to create collect variable that will get collection okay here We will call for bison document okay and we will have our collection name employee okay once you do your database and then collection next part is adding some data into it okay so let's create one variable name document or you can simply use documnt to avoid naming conflict then call for bison document okay and it will take json like format here so you can add let's say name then use the name Okay, so I'm gonna just repeat this with new values. Okay, make sure you have comma, and we are just going to change a few values here. So let's say I want to change age to have 28, then salary. 
say 20,000 or 12,000 and then position as let's say designer okay so this is the basic piece and document okay so once you do that simply now add your collection collect doc insert one async okay if you want to add multiple then you have to use insert many async okay okay and then finally console dot read line or read to pause your output okay so this is pretty much it so we are create, creating startup database with employee document and that collection will have okay now we have also added that entry into our collection and finally we will just execute and check if the data gets added okay so if it runs without any errors that means our data is added but how you are going to verify it for that open your command prompt make sure you have mongo connected simply type in showdbs then you have your database name startup and here you have your startup database connected use db dot employee dot find and here you see that entry is added into your database In next tutorial we will see how to fetch this data with the help of c sharp